Hey guys, this is Total Blackout 22 back again with another video. I just want to apologize first off for not posting a video in quite a while, uh, mainly because of I was just really busy and I was also pretty sick. Uh, in the last video, I was starting to get a little sick, and after that, I got pretty sick. So I wasn't able to post any videos for that time, and then after that, I just got really busy with a lot of things I had to handle. So, um, but I'm back, and uh, I'm going to be posting quite a few new videos. Sorry, the camera's shaking a little bit. And I thought that I'd start with my review of Wolverine. And I also have plans to do that toy hunting video. Uh, that I told you guys about in on my Instagram. So I have plans to do that. Uh, my friend's actually going to help me out with that. So you should see that this month sometime. Not sure when I'm going to be able to do it, but it will happen. Anyways, so this figure is a really good figure. It came out in uh, the Juggernaut wave. And it is the best Wolverine figure today. Now... It is the only Wolverine figure. There he goes, falling over. It is actually the only Wolverine figure I've owned besides... Well, actually, I owned two others. I owned the one that came in the face-off. Um, the face-off uh, pack with Sabretooth. And I think its arm broke off or something, and it was a long, long time ago. So I just wanted it to play with, and I messed it up pretty bad. And, um, I think his leg broke off, too, so I ended up throwing that away. And I also had the, um, X-Men Classics, uh, I'm trying to think of what it's called. But it was the Wolverine in the House of m -Sue. I actually still have that figure somewhere. Don't know where exactly, but anyways, so those are the only real Wolverine figures I've ever gotten. And from what I can see from the other ones, this is the best one so far. My friend actually has the unmasked version that came in the Jubilee Wave, and he thinks it's okay, so he didn't end up picking up this figure, but uh, I think it's a really good figure. It's, from what I heard, the best out of them all. Uh, he is really stocky. Um, he's a very short guy, which is I mean, fitting, because it is Wolverine, and... There goes his hand. It's a problem I'll talk about in a little bit. Um, so, which is suiting for Wolverine. In fact, some of my complaints on the other ones were that the Wolverine figure was too tall. And I think this one's just that perfect height. I think it's around five and a half inches, I believe. Um, it's been a while since I've uh, measured it, so I don't remember the exact height. But uh, let's see how what figures I have offhand just laying around here to give you a little idea. Here we go. I got a DCUC uh, Yellow Lantern Hal Jordan, just to give you an idea. This is basically the standard mold for DCUC. And as you can see, he just towers over him. Just Sorry, blocking the lighting there. But he just towers over Wolverine. I mean, just look at that. So, yeah, very small, stocky figure, which is fitting. I also have the Marvel Legends Bulldozer. Go ahead and get this guy all straightened up. Oh, and by the way, I'm using a new mic, so uh, if you have any problems with it, it's because of that. I can't actually find my other one that I've been using. Let me know, actually, if this one sounds better than the last one. Yeah. And I kind of realized that in my last video, I didn't even have my microphone on. Okay, so here we go. Here's Bulldozer, which absolutely towers over Wolverine. But, which is fitting, I think. Yeah, so a shorter, stockier Wolverine, which is good. Let's look at details. Now, um, the face, I guess we can get into that first. The sculpt is actually really nice for a Marvel Legends figure. It doesn't have too much expression, but... I. I think that's fine. Um, it's got the silver eyes painted in there. And on the back, he's got a black line painted. But as you can see here, got a little bit of that green going on because the yellow and the black paint is mixing. But it's not its not a huge deal. 
the face paint came out pretty well. See, it's a little blurry there on the lines, but uh, nothing really to complain about. Too bad. Yeah, so head's good. And for the most part, the paint and the line work on the body is good. Except for if you lower the belt there, you, you can see that. He's got a little bit of a paint problem right there. But it's not too big of a deal because the belt will cover that right up. Uh, so, yeah. So, there's pretty good job in the line work there. As you can see, the arms are much bigger than uh, on any other Marvel Legends. See the line work on here? Not too bad. And the claws are actually more of a pearly white than a metallic silver. Which I would have much rather preferred a metallic silver. But, uh, actually I believe on the packaging... It shows them as a metallic silver, but they're not. Um, so the boots came out nice, perfect, look really good. The black lines, perfectly sculpted well. At the, at the bottom, belt came out really nice. You can see the stitching in there. Sorry about my shaky hands. And um, he does come with an accessory. So I'm going to show you the two accessories he comes with, actually. Then we'll get an articulation, then I'll close up this video. So he comes, sorry about the noise, it's just my heater kicking in, but uh, he comes with two unclawed fist hands. You see they're painted, they got the metallic pieces where the claws would come out. It does come with two of these, but it's sort of ironic, or not ironic, but you know, a little weird. I guess ironic <clears throat> that his claws just pop out by themselves. As you can see. So, if you really just want to get an unclawed look, you could just uh, pop out those claws. And by the way, the hand does pop out pretty easy at times. So, I think it's just the peg needed to be a little bit bigger, or this hole needed to be a little bit smaller. But, yeah, so that happens. But it's not too big of a deal. But the claws, it's kind of hard to get them centered. Uh, they're kind of on these little ball joints, if I can show you that there little bit of a ball joint there so they they peg right into that hole so you can do this yep all right but as you can see they're a little bit bent but it's kind of easier to fix because they're on that kind of ball joint thing it's better than past figures so yeah all right let's go ahead and take a look at his articulation the head can look down that much can look up all the way can move side to side. It can also, I think it can slightly tilt. Not really, I guess. Thought it could. Anyways, so he's got a ball joint, the shoulder. He's also got a butterfly joint, which works very well. And you can get some great poses with this guy because of those. He's got double jointed elbow. There goes that hand. Like I said, it does pop out quite a bit. I'll just pop in this other hand just to show you what that looks like. Anyway, so it doesn't close up too much because of the bicep sculpted, but he does have wrist rotation and hinge. He also has an ab crunch that will look up or look back about that much and look forward about that much. So it goes really far forward, which is really good. He's also got a waist rotation. Um, straighten them out here. And he's got ball joints in the hips. They go out just about that far, which isn't too bad. Um, they do kick forward, and they go back just a little bit. And he also has, um, I can't think, uh, upper thigh swivel. And he also has the double jointed knees and hinges on the feet go up and down and he also has crazy ankle rocker so yeah really cool um let me just get him straightened out real quick yeah so i definitely recommend this figure um it's just like i said the best wolverine figure you can get and i think his scale's great he's just a really good figure and i found him locally 
for just about $20. I believe you can get them for $20 online at this moment. It wasn't always like that, but I don't believe that'll last very long. So get that as quick as you can. Uh, yeah, but he's a really cool figure. And um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to uh, check out my Instagram at TotalBlackout22. And uh, give me a follow. And if you are from Instagram, go ahead and uh, put that down in the comment section. Because I'd like to see how many of you are actually coming from my Instagram page. And um, yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, like, all that stuff. And tell your friends. Alright, goodbye.